Hello everyone, this is Mamta Mount and today we are going to learn and solve exercise questions 1 to 4, exercise 3b, chapter 3, chapter name is Decimals of class 7th of Composite Mathematics textbook. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos. And please visit my blog messenger.com for more information regarding the textbook solutions of CBSE, ICSC and the other state board. Let's get started and solve some questions of the chapter decima. Today we will learn and solve exercise questions 1 to 4, exercise 3b, chapter 3. Chapter name is decimals and topic is multiplication of decimal numbers. Let's solve some questions. Now question number 1, multiply. First question is. 8.37 multiplied with 10. Here in 8.37 there are two digits after the decimal point. So first convert this decimal into fractional form. That is 837. And here after two uh, digits after the decimal point. So we have to place two zero in one. That will be 100. So, so it will be uh, 837 divided by 100. Then multiply with 10. Cancel one single zero. Then it will be. 837 divided by 10 is 83.7 and in 8.37 there are two digits after the decimal point and multiply with 10 here in 10 only one single zero so we have to place uh, one digit we have to move one decimal point place to the right so uh, 1 837 so here 8.37 so you have to place one one decimal point to the right so it will be 8.83.7 here one single zero so we have to place this decimal point here 80 83.7 move one decimal point place to the right Move the decimal point, this decimal point, one place to the right. Here only one single zero. So we have to move uh, the decimal point one place to the right. If uh, here 100, if the decimal number multiplied with 100, they are in 100, then it will be in 100, there are two zeros. So we have to place, uh, so we have to move the decimal point two places to the right then it will be 837.0 837.0 which is equal to 837 point 0 understood okay so 8.37 multiplied with 10 is move the uh, move the decimal point one place to the right so it will be 83.7. Now question number 2. 4.6 multiplied with 10. In 4.6 there is only one single digit. So we have to convert this 4.6 to the uh, fractional form, form first. So it will be 46 divided by. Uh, here after decimal point only one single digit. So we have to place one zero only. So it will be 46 divided by 10 multiplied with 10, which is 46. And here 4.6 multiplied with 10. If we, uh, we have to move the decimal point to the one point. Move the decimal point one place to the right. So it will be 46.0, which is 46. Move the decimal point one place to the right. So it will be 46.0. Now question number 3. 49.87 multiplied with 100. Here we have to multiply 49.87 with 100. Uh, first convert this decimal into fractional form. Here in, uh, in this decimal, after the decimal point, there, is, there are two digits. So we have to place two more zero. Uh, 2 0 so we have to place 4987 divided by we have to place 2 0 in 100 that is 
it will be 100. So, put, um, 4987 divided by 100 multiplied with 100, which is 4987. 4987. And here in 49.87 multiplied with 100, here two zeros we have to uh, move decimal point to the two place. Move the decimal point. Two place to the right. So it will be 49. Move the decimal point here. Two place means one place, two place. So it will be here. So 49.87.0, which is 4987. So 49.87 multiplied with 100 is 4987. Now question number 4, 4.907 multiplied with 100, uh, multiplied with 10. In this decimal 4.907, there are three, three digits after the decimal point. So first convert this decimal into fractional curve. So it will be 4907 divided by uh, 30. So it will be 1000 multiplied with 10. Now cancel this single zero. Now 4907 divided by 100. Now in 100, two zero, so we have to place two digits after the decimal point. So it will be 49.07. And we, uh, here in 10, there is only one single zero, so we have to, uh, we have to move the decimal, decimal point to the one place to the right. So it will be this decimal point moved to the one place to the right. So it will be 49.07. Both are equal. Here the decimal point and decimal numbers multiply with 10. Uh, 10 has only one single zero. So we have, uh, we have to move the decimal point one place. Move the decimal point one place to the right. So it will be 49.07. Now question number 5. 0 0.000078 multiplied with 1000. In this decimal, there, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 6 digits after the decimal point, uh, which is multiplied with 1000, which is 2, 3 zeros only. 1000 is 3 zeros. So we have to place, we have to move the decimal point to the, uh, to the 3 place to the right. So now it will be 0, 0, 0, 3 place. So this uh, 1, 2, 3. Now it will be 0, 0, 0, point 0, 0, 7, 0, 0, 7, 8, which will be uh, which will be 0, point 0, 0, 7, 8. Now multiplication of 0, point 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5, 0, 7, 8 multiplied with 1000 is 0, point 0, 0, 7, 8. We have to move 3. Uh, uh, we have to move the decimal point to the three place to the right three place that is zero 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 three place three digits zero 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 point zero zero seven eight. so it will be zero point zero zero seven eight understood if you have any doubt then comment in the comment section now question number six zero point zero zero eight zero five multiplied with hundred here in 100, there, there are two zeros, so we have to move the decimal point to the two place, to the right hand side. So 0 0.00805, two place, move the decimal point here, two place means 0, 0, this decimal point will be here. So it will be 0, 0 0.805, which is 0 0.805. So answer is 0 0.805. Move the decimal point uh, to place to the right. Decimal point. Move the decimal point to place to the right. 0 0.00. 0 0.805. Now question number 7. 0 0.0893 multiplied with 10,000. Here in 10,000 there are 4 zeros. So we have to place, uh, we have to move the decimal point to the 4 digits move the decimal point four place to the right hand side now here decimal point one two three four so it will be zero eight nine three four digits 
move the decimal point to the fourth place to the right uh, to the right move the decimal point to the fourth place to the right we have four zero so we have to move the decimal point to the fourth place to the right so it will be zero eight nine three point zero or eight hundred ninety three only so answer is eight hundred ninety three Now question number eight. Three hundred fifty-seven point one two six multiplied with ten thousand. In ten thousand there are four zeros. Four zeros. So we have to place. Uh, we have to move the decimal point uh, to the four place to the right. This is right hand side. This is right hand side. This is left hand side. So we have to move the decimal decimal point to the four place. Four place to the right. This is right hand side. So we have to One two six. There is three digits, so we have to place one more zero here. Point zero. Which is uh, three five seven one two six zero. So answer is three on uh, three five seven one two six zero.